Okay, so the difference between today and yesterday is that obviously this time there are two terms being distributed into two terms. So this is a, a binomial times a binomial. Okay. Um, we're going to do the same thing we did yesterday. We're distributing, but today we're, I'm going to call it double distributing because not only are we multiplying the x into these two terms, we're also multiplying the negative 1. So let's just start with our first term of x. Turn off Siri, please. <laughs> Okay, so we're taking the x and we're multiplying it times the x and the 3 and the other binomial. We're ignoring the negative 1 right now, okay, because this is two different terms. So we're saying x times x is x squared. x squared. x times 3, 3x. Okay, wait, wait. Move it down a little bit. x squared and then 3x. So we did x times x is x squared. x times 3 is 3x. Now we go back and we do the negative 1 times the x and the negative 1 times the 3. So we're double distributing. We're distributing the first term into the second binomial and the second term into the second binomial. Y'all with me? So what is negative 1 times x? Negative 1x. And what is negative 1 times 3? Negative 3. And now if you notice, your two middle terms are like terms. So you can combine these two. So you have x squared. And what is 3x minus x? 2x minus 3. Same concept as yesterday, we're just double distributing today. Okay, so let's try another. Number two. What do we distribute first? The x. Okay, so x times x. x times 2. Okay. Then... Distribute the 1. 1 times x. 1x. And 1 times 2. 2. 2. So your two middle terms are like terms. They both have x's. So x squared mm -hmm. plus 3x plus 2. That's it. Okay, I want you guys to try number 3 on your own. Try number three on your own. Do the exact same thing that we've just been doing. All right. So uh, x times x is x squared. x squared. x times negative 5. Negative 5x. Five negative 5x. Five then distribute the negative 3. Negative 3 times x. Negative 3x. And negative 3 times negative 5. 15. Positive 15. 15. Good. And these two um, are common. They're like terms. So x squared minus 5x and minus 3x is, yes, minus 8x and plus 15. All right. So let's keep on going. Same thing here. 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times 4 12x, negative 2 times x, oops, I forgot the x, didn't I? Okay. Negative 2 times x is negative, negative 2x, and negative 2 times 4, negative 8. Negative eight. Two middle terms match, so 3x squared plus 10x, plus 10x minus 8. There you go. Any questions so far? Pretty easy? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's different about 5? Um, okay, so what do I do with 2 minus y squared? You add the exponents to everything. Define distribute. 
Okay. Comment biggest mistake. That's what people will do. It's not what it means. No, no, no. Oops. This, anything squared is 2y times itself. The binomial square means the binomial twice. The binomial times itself. Okay. So then now you can distribute just like we have been doing. So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times negative y, negative 2y. Negative y times 2, negative 2y. And negative y times negative y, plus y squared. You have common terms in the middle again. Uh, negative 2y, negative 2y is negative 4y plus y squared. Now, you might also see it written like this, y squared minus 4y plus 4. These are equal to each other. Because I just went from biggest exponent to smallest, and this one was smallest to biggest exponent. They're both correct. Okay, I want you to try number six on your own. The only difference in number six is now there's an X and a Y variable, but nothing changes. So try number six on your own. Okay. So we're gonna distribute. Two uh, X times X is two X squared. Two X times negative Y is? Negative two X Y. Yeah, negative two X Y. You wanna write your variables in alphabetical order and the negative sign goes in front of your coefficient. Okay. Then 3y times x. 3xy. 3xy, yes. You want to write the x in front of the y because it's alphabetical. And you also want it to match this term here. Okay. Would it be wrong to write 3yx? No, it's not wrong. It's just kind of like not grammatically correct in math. There is a grammar in math as well. <laughs> Yay. Okay, and 3y times negative y is negative 3y squared. Again, these middle terms match. So 2x squared, and then negative 2xy plus 3xy is just xy or 1xy minus 3y squared. Very good. Any questions so far? Yes. Then you just leave it alone. You don't combine them. You just leave it as four terms. Good question. You're going to see some of that on this next question, I believe. Number seven, mine's on the front, yours is on the back. So now we're distributing a binomial into a trinomial. Gentlemen. Okay. Same concept, though, except we're distributing to all three terms. So 3x times 2x squared. 2x, 2x cubed, or no, 6x, 6x cubed. 6x cubed, good. 3x times 4x. 12x squared, good. 3x times negative 3. Negative 9x, awesome, okay. Now we switch to our second term in our binomial. So negative 5 times 2x squared. Negative 10x squared. Negative 10x squared. Negative 5 times 4x. Negative 20x. And negative 5 times negative 3. Positive 15. Okay, so now you have to go through this and look to see where the like terms are. They're not going to be right next to each other in this case. Okay, notice you have x squared with the 12x squared and the negative 10x squared. Do we have any other x cubes? No. No, so we're just going to go ahead and rewrite that, 6x cubed. Then how many x squareds do we have? Two. Two. 12x squared minus 10x squared is... 2x squared. 
And then we also have good negative nine x and negative twenty x is negative twenty nine x. And then we only have, excuse me, we only have the fifteen. We don't have any other numbers to combine this with. And then we would leave it alone. So uh, the answer to this one would be a polynomial. It would be four terms long, and that's okay. Any questions on this? Is this pretty easy? Good. All right. A square tabletop has side lengths of 4 minus 6 units. Oh, yeah, I get to draw a square because I can do that. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's funny is that on my screen it looks like a rectangle. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Good enough. This is a square. That means what do we know about squares? All four sides are congruent. And what are all the four sides according to this? 4, 4x minus 6. Okay. We also know that, just FYI for geometry, you will need to know this. They all have four right angles. Just FYI. Write a polynomial that represents the area, not the perimeter, the area. So how do you find area of a square? Length times width or side squared. S squared is just the side squared. Okay, so really, what are we doing here? 4x minus 6 times 4x minus 6. Yeah, 4x minus 6 squared, right? Which means 4x minus 6 times 4x minus 6. Okay, I want you to go ahead and finish this one up really fast. All right, let's see how we did. Okay, 4x times 4x is 16x squared minus 24x, then minus 24x plus 36. In this case, the middle terms do match. So we have 16x squared minus 48x plus 36 units. Squared, because they're finding area, right? Okay. Last question. This is the shaded region again. How do we find the area of shaded region? What did we talk about yesterday? Yeah, just big minus small, right? The area of the big one, which is a rectangle, minus the area of the small rectangle, and you have the area of your shaded region. So um, the area of our big would be a rectangle, and how do you find the area of that big rectangle? This would be our big one. What is our length and width here? 3x plus 5 and 3x minus 5 times 3x minus 4. Okay, so let's distribute. So we have 9x squared minus 12x plus 15x minus 20. Combine like terms. Nine x squared, okay, and negative twelve x and fifteen x is plus three x minus twenty. Okay, so that's the area of the big one, the big rectangle. Okay, now we have to find the area of the small one, which is just x times x plus one. X plus one. So this is kind of like yesterday's, right? We're just distributing one term. This is the small area. So x squared plus plus 1x or just plus x, right? Okay. 
So then how are we going to find the shaded? Big minus small equals shaded. So big is 9x squared plus oh, 3x minus 20 minus x squared and also minus an x, right? Because we have to subtract all of this. So we're subtracting an x squared and subtracting an x. So 9x squared minus x squared is 8x squared. 3x minus x is 2x minus 20 is our final answer. That's the area of the shaded. Okay, I believe that we ended there, right? Your notes do? Yeah. No, we have another problem. That's okay. We don't need to do. No, we don't. It's okay. Calm down, everyone. <laughs> All right.